Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got OPI's Cajun Shrimp and I'm going to stamp it with black. I've started off with Nailtique's Formula 2 and this is the oldest polish I own. Cajun Shrimp. It is so freaking old. I've got some bubbling. I think it was my top coat. Um, but you know, whatever. <laughs> We're going to use Funky Fingers Dark Night to stamp with. My fake clear jelly stamper and my real clear jelly scraper. BPL 027 is the stamping plate today. And I'm going to use this big O image over here on this corner. I'm just going to pull from different areas of the same image and just place it on my nails in, you know, all sorts of random patterns. But yep, this is the polish that started my obsession with nail polish. It was this one and Louisiana Hot Sauce by OPI. I can't find my Louisiana Hot Sauce to save my life. I must have loaned it out. But I am telling you, this is one of my favorites. It has been a very long time since I have worn this one. Now you can see with this stamping, it totally changes the color of that. I mean, with the stamping over top of it, it doesn't look near as bright. It's kind of wild. But I have really enjoyed it. I am still wearing it. I did them. So I've been wearing this one for three or four days. Yeah. It was time. Needed some, needed some Cajun shrimp on the nails. But I bet you this polish is probably 20 years old. <laughs> And the polish itself was fine, but I think that top coat jacked it up. So I'm going to use a piece of tape and get off this excess that I can. You know, every little bit helps. It is quite the mess. And oh, looky there. I'm wearing the same thing on both hands. <laughs> that rarely happens also. So here we go. We're going to do a little bit more cleaning up with my cleanup brush and some acetone. You don't have to use acetone just because I do. If you want to use nail polish remover, that works too. I'm just very impatient. I want to hurry up and get this cleaned up and get on to some top coat. Now you can still see that bubbling, but here in just a second when I add my top coat, it's going to clear it all up. I will be using the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat again today. And I think you can still see the bubbling after I do this a little bit. But when I apply my posh top coat at the end, it just clears it all up. No bubbling. There's my posh. Yep, you can still see that bubbling. But here we go with the magic. La la, like it never happened. So don't give up on your manicure. Sometimes you just gotta go down fighting, you know? Sometimes you just have to. I mean, it's just nail polish. If you get to the end and you really don't like it, you know... You can take it off and do something else. I have a bunch of times. So there it is. Back it up a little bit, girl. There we go. I love it. I'm so excited to be wearing this one. Here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.